Take a look at these photos. This is a crash that happened about two weeks ago in Alachua County, showing a car going underneath a truck. The car's driver has critical injuries. News for Jackson I team investigator Vic Michelucci joining us live. Vic, you're looking for answers about making tractor trailers safer. Joy, the tragedies keep happening, and that's why so many people are pushing for these guards. I want to give you an example. This is a truck. Look, it's about three to four feet off the ground in the center part. This is called the underride, and the concern is cars can go underneath just the windshield and the vulnerable parts are the parts that get smashed under here and that can make these crashes so very deadly. So if there was an iron or steel guard to stop the vehicles from going underneath, many people believe lives could be saved. This is a side underride crash. It's when a car goes under a semi truck trailer and the results are often deadly. His name was Guy. He was 16 years old. He was an all-star baseball player. He was my favorite person in the world. Lost my wife Leslie and my daughter Sophie two and a half years ago. This morning, we heard from grieving families who've lost loved ones as they continue to fight for better safety guards on the side, front, and back of rigs. Riley burned to death. He um, It was confirmed by the coroner that he had no physical injuries. So if an underride guard had been installed on the trailer, it would have resulted in a fender bender and Riley would still be alive today. The news for Jack's I team has been investigating underride fatalities for nearly a year now, and some lawmakers have taken notice of the issues. Last week, Florida Senator Marco Rubio and New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand once again introduced a bill to make guards mandatory on all new trucks across the country. Those on the road already would have stricter standards. A similar bill is in the House. But after years of attempts, the proposals have stalled in D.C. And are they still claiming cost? We're putting fuel efficiency skirts that hang way low on all these trailers just to save fuel. Why aren't we doing something more robust to save lives? Attorney Andy Young says the tractor trailer industry and lobbyists are claiming it'd be too expensive. Guards like this one are already on the market, costing about $2,500 to go on existing semis. New ones, he says, would be significantly less. It's a price these families hope trucking companies are willing to pay to save lives. And I have spoken with several semi-truck owners and operators. They said that they are willing to put these on their vehicles. A lot of them did not even know that the technology existed, but they say if it's $2,000, $3,000, even $4,000, it is worth it to save a life. So if you want to get involved, we've got a link on our website, newsforjacks.com. The advocates are asking for you to reach out to your lawmakers and ask them to take a stand against underrides on Capitol Hill. We're live tonight, Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station. Well, Vic, any response from the industry leaders? They have been very quiet. We have not heard from the lobbyists in a long time. We've also reached out to the Tractor Trailer Manufacturing Association. They did not give us a response, but when we heard from them on Capitol Hill years back, they said that they weren't sure that these were going to actually save lives, and they also complained that it was very expensive for the industry as a whole. All right, Vic McLucci reporting live for us. Vic, thanks for your special report.